Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, JT Open Stuff. Today, guys, we are going to take a look at surprisingly cool find I got at Ross today. $7.99 for this little Spidey and his amazing friends Lego set. So that is really cool. As you can see here, just a little car, you get a couple of little minifigs, you get Doc Ock, and you get Spidey. But seven bucks. These toys, these Spidey and his Amazing Friends toys, are starting to hit the shelves at Ross. So if you're interested in the toys that, that go with this series, you might want to start getting to your local Walmart and getting out to your Ross because they are being clearanced out at Walmarts and Targets and places like that. And they are making their way to places like Ross. So as you can see, this is a 48-piece Lego set, and we're going to try to build this just as quickly as we can today. And this is going to be great for like a younger person learning to build Legos, as you can see right there. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a good look at it. So if you've got somebody that loves Spidey and his amazing friends, you could run out and get one for yourself as well. So you get the little booklet to teach you how to build it. Kind of cool. The little chassis already comes as one piece. So that's really cool for, for uh, little hands. The front of the car also comes as one piece. So again, a nice little feature to help younger people get into Lego and help their building skills. So as opposed to a lot of sets, there's just one little bag of pieces in here. So that's gonna be pretty easy for us to get out and sort out as I like to do with all of my Lego openings. So we're gonna sort this out and I always sort by color. That helps me know when it says we need a, you know, blue six brick or, or six peg. I know that I can just look right down in those blue sets and find them. I'll separate out the, the mini fig parts as well. We'll go ahead and build those mini figs in a second, but we'll put all of those red parts kind of over here. The blue parts are going to go right down here. Well, that's a little minifig piece, but another red part. We got some tires right there. We'll put those tires right over on the side. The white pieces go over there. Dark gray piece. Let's see. Gray. Another rim. A little couple of black pieces there. Another piece of a minifig. Green, green, red. And then these little, looks almost like little gems and then the hair. So that was a quick sort, guys. Now let's get to the build. Hey, we already did that. <laughs> okay, so first we're going to build the Spidey in this set, the little minifig. So we're going to put this together right here. Now these minifigs do seem just a tiny bit smaller than your normal minifig, but not much. Um, pop that head right down on there. And then what's cool about this is this little minifig has a web that is this big to it. So you pop that, that look at that, that is giant compared to the actual minifig. Very, very neat. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sit Spidey over on the side for a second. Now, we are gonna build Doc Ock. So, there is, I put this over with those pieces, but this does go right over the next stem of Doc Ock. And we put that little head down on there. Let's put that hair on there. All right, stay open there. I'm gonna give everybody a nice look of what we're doing. And then finally, the legs. So cool little figure build there. Now these little gray pieces are going to pop onto the back here and they look pretty close to the same. I'm not sure if there's a, um, 
any real difference, but I think that possibly, as you can see, just a little bit of a difference, we're gonna put this end closer to the backpack. And I have built a Lego set that has an iron spider in it. And it also has this little, little um, kind of backpack with extra mechanical arms. Really cool little feature. And just like that set, you do get one extra arm just in case you were to lose one. So that's a really cool little thing. Now, what's really neat about this is Doc Ock has these gems. And as you're still in a gem with this hand, you can also steal a gem with the different legs or arms, I guess you should say, or I should say. So that's a really cool little feature. So stealing the gems made easier with extra arms. All right, let's put that over there. Move on here. All right, so we have our little set piece here, the bottom of the car. And it's kind of interesting the way they show the hands like this. That is interesting. I'm not sure exactly why that's like that, but maybe it'll be clearer at the end. All right, we're gonna do the first little step is to put this one right there. Then two red pieces here and here. Then this piece is going to go right here. And then this flat piece is going to go here. And guys, I'm not sure if you can hear it in the background. There are some happy, happy birds outside of my house today. The weather has been absolutely beautiful the last couple of days after a little bit of raininess. Right now it is about 70 degrees and sunny outside. So really, really nice weather and the, the birds are digging it. <laughs> so let's move on now. We will put the front of the car on. And as you can see, it is going to go just like that. Just pop that on there and look at that. Just that quickly. We have the, the body of the car built. Now, let's see, we do have this little spider emblem here and it is going to go right here into the hood of the car. Very cool. And then, oh, blue piece right there. All right, that is going to facilitate the bumper going on. And then we are going to put on the windshield. So windshield just kind of pops on right on the top there. And then this black piece right there. blue piece goes right over the top of that. As you can see. And then these pieces go just like that. And that. And then Right in between those little clasps, another blue piece. Now these little, looks like web shooters. They just go right in there. Just like that. 
And these guys, from the looks of the picture, will glow in the dark also. So that's a really cool feature, really neat. All right, now we're going to go ahead and build the tire and wheel combination. Pretty easy to snap together there. I love that this set is easy enough. It says, um, let's see, on the package, this is ages four plus, I guess. Yeah, look at that, ages four and up. So I really do like the fact that this is easy enough that you could with maybe even the smallest amount of help, you could help a four-year-old build this. And I love that, love getting young kids into the hobby. It's really, really a great thing for, for kids to have a way of kind of letting their imagination soar. So we're gonna pop those onto the car. One, two, three, and four, and those have a nice little bit of spin to them there. So basically we've got that little car all built. And let's see, so now we're gonna build a little lamp post looks like. So we'll put that lamp post on the base. And there is a little yellow piece, little clear yellow piece that goes right on the top there as such, then this little green piece goes right on the top, a little shade, and you top it off with this one, whoa, one little piece here, the little green piece on the top, and we have our little lamp post. And as you can see, we are done. So what a fun, fun little build there, guys. And I can tell you that if these other Spidey builds are that much fun, I might have to take a look for some of them because look at that. That is a cool little set. That looks like a larger little, um, a larger set with tons of minifigures in it. That would be really cool. Obviously the one we just built. Whoa, check that one out. That is cool. And then that one is really, really nice also. So if these little sets are this easy to build and they're this age level, I would suggest if you've got a young person that loves Legos, you gotta go look for these because this was super, super fun. Now you do get one extra web for your car. You get one extra little green, little top piece for the lamppost. And you do get the one little extra arm for Doc Ock. But as you can see here, look how cool those look. Now, Spidey trapping Doc Ock. That's pretty cool. And when it's time, he gets that web out of his hand, moves right there. And let's see, can we fit him down on there to stay? Check that out, guys. That is really, really cool. I am super glad that I opened this for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this opening today. If you did, again, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up button. Let me know you like that video and join me. I want you guys to become a member of the opening band as well. So that being said, I will see you on the next video. That is, unless Doc Ock steals it first. Ha, ha, ha.